has made. See, James gets his information from anti-Islamic sites, which he bear witness to. Is no, that I, all right? I, no, I, I check with the tafsir as well. Do you take your information from Wiki Islam? Yes, but also the Quran and tafsir. Do you believe Wiki Islam is an unbiased source? Um, it's not an unbiased source. It is biased. It's because you guys have been indoctrinated. No. And you don't want to go against your James, parents. James. You don't want to. <laughs> no. You don't want to leave your community. My parents. You want to go My parents are not Muslim. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're an exception, though. Most people here were born into Islam, and they don't. Most want people to, here. They don't want to let down their that's parents. All boys. That's, that's the, sort that's of boys. That's the Western Euro, Eurocentric, arrogant twat I want to see. So. Just because the Prophet Muhammad has never encountered this situation, it doesn't mean there's a problem with it. It just means the Khalifs solved the problem. So the, so the Khalifs had to, had to fix the Quran? No! no. no. Yes. No, what are they doing? Yeah. They're not fixing the Quran. <laughs> so what, so what, if, what, one second, if they fixed the Quran, why didn't they change it? That's the question. So, but it's nothing more than yes. your subjective opinion. It's, no, it's, no, it's sensible. Yeah. No, it's subjective it's opinion. Sensible, it's uh, okay, you can call it that, but it's sensible. It's subjective opinion. Okay. Are you saying subjective opinion is sensible? What? Are you saying subjective opinion is sensible? Certain subjective opinions may or may not be sensible. So accusing someone of lying, having no reason to accuse him of lying, is sensible. No, but I do have reason to accuse him of lying. I like I haven't. Kind Should of, we let him go? We, this we thing? haven't pinned down no, 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 no. what huh? the incentive no, 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 is. So, but I, no, no. But uh, yeah, I've shown that there, there is a clear error that shows that this isn't from God, and they don't want to hear it. Each, okay, okay. For, for the benefit of the audience, not necessarily. No, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Okay, cool. You, you itch you to tell us. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so it's Surah 4, Surah and Nisa versus. Uh, what are the ones that are about. What's the mistake you're making? What's the mistake you're making? Yeah, the, it's an inheritance. So, this inheritance. is a discussion that's been had with Adnan Rashid and Mohammed Idab multiple times with the same gentleman. Oh, I see. This is this one trick pony thing. It's, it's no, no, there, yeah. there are other ones. No. Oh, let's go to an even better. Have you spoken to Adnan Rashid? Okay, let, let's talk about Listen, uh, Juja James, that's have you. Another, that's have you spoken? Have evidence. you spoken to Adnan Rashid about this matter? Yes. Have you spoken to Mohammed Hijab about this matter? Yes. yes. Have they answered you? <laughs> not, well, not well. <laughs> no. They're, they're According to your subjective opinion. Yeah, like, like all that, okay, all that Adnan Rashid did. Oh, sorry, no, all no, no, no. that Adnan Rashid did is said, how many tafsir have you read? How many tafsir have you read? He didn't answer the, the question. Mohammed Hijab yeah, did. Sure. He gave. He, he, Mohammed did Hijab did well. He managed to give what the orthodox sunny position on the matter is. But the problem is that the orthodox sunny position of the matter is ridiculous, and it, it, it's it's so insane. It's insane to believe because what, what the orthodox sunny position is. So basically, kind of, I'm, I'm just. I'm, I'm dying to know. Is it, what's the point? I'm, I'm going to summarize now. So basically, these, inher point? these inheritance verses. Uh, inheritance I think it's 100. Is it 111 and 112 in Surah Anasa? You're the one uh -huh. presenting the, the claim. I'm going to give you a bit of here. Yeah, I'm, while you're doing that, I'm going to continue my why he didn't lie. Okay. All right. Can, can I? Can we go back to this once I do find yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now you claimed he did it for power and wealth, and yet his whole life. He lived frugally. Yeah, he slept on a mat on the floor. When he died, he died without a penny to his name. His wives would complain, why, why can't we have this, why can't we have that? Yeah, so this is a man you claim did it for money and power, and yet when he had the power of Arabia at his fingertips, he didn't benefit from it. He didn't, uh, like I said, he died without a penny to his name. He did benefit by having a lot of wives though. <laughs> Okay. Prior to Islam, you could marry as many women as you liked. It's quite, it's quite, it's kind of fun to like be allowed to marry eleven wives and then and then tell everyone else, oh, you guys are only allowed to marry four wives. That's you know, that, that's kind of a perk of, of happening to be. Unless, a unless his marriages were for political unions. But he enjoyed them, did he not? He had sex so? with each of them every night. So. And so therefore, he's enjoying the benefits of having eleven that. wives, where everyone else is only allowed four wives. It's kind of a perk of the job. Do you think so? Yeah. So before, uh, before, yeah, yeah, before, yeah, I do think before so. he made the rule there was no limit so you can marry as many as you wanted so why why would, so why, why would why it matter it to 11? because well he also kind of made You're, sure that everyone else didn't have no, he didn't, 11 wives people were still marrying as many as they wanted no. And then when he made the rule, no. you can only have four wives. Everyone else so, stopped so, so being allowed that he, many wives, so reduced, except for him. Oh, mm, that's convenient. So, 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 you, so you're basically a hyper skeptic who, who thinks everything is possible and therefore everything happened. And you're looking for, and you're looking mm. using your. I think that's a mischaracterization. You're hyper skeptical. So you've accused a man of lying with no motive and no um, capacity to lie. No, and, and you're looking. You're I'm basically skeptical to you're, a you're sensible getting, degree. Not at all. Absolutely unreasonable. No evidence of. No evidence of there being any lies before, suddenly a person, the, uh, becomes, suddenly a person becomes... No, 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 it's his claim. It's your claim, mate. Uh, suddenly a person we'll, we'll get there in a minute, but like, it'll just help us get there faster so, if I remember Suddenly a person the becomes are. a liar and then starts to enjoy it. I'm I mean, where is the reason for answering Islam. <laughs>
I like Wiki Islam more, actually. Same. It's written by ex-Muslims. Answering Islam is written by Christians, which is like slightly. Don't you know? The, don't you think the Wiki Islam are ex-Muslim Christians? Some of them might be Christian. They're all Christians, mate. So, so you really? You, yeah. you, they're, they're, you every mean, single one of them is a Christian. So, so That's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. So the sources you get information oh, from sorry, are biased. 11, I thought it was 111. It's actually 11. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My mistake, everyone. Sorry for the delay, everyone. Okay. So, uh, so the the error in the Quran that this is your error. This is your, yes. your claim of an error. Yeah? You're claiming this is an error. It's my claim, but according it's also, to you, it's also true. That according it's to your judgment, well, it's also true that it's an. Well, no, it's your subjective why. opinion. No, no, it's it's what anyone would conclude if they. No, were well, let's see who agrees with you. Okay, so uh, it's, I'll, I'll read both the verses out in full first. Allah instructs you concerning your children. Uh, I'm going to read the parts and brackets as well from the Sahih International Translation by Aisha Bruley. No, don't, Thomas. don't, don't, don't do that. Okay. Because okay. they're not in the text. Okay, but I mean that. Okay, fine. Allah instructs you concerning your children. For the male, what is equal to the share of two females? But if there are only daughters, oh no, sorry. If there are daughters, two or more, for them is two thirds of one's estate. And if there is only one, for her is half. And for one's parents. To each of them, to each one of them, is a sixth of his estate if he left children. But if he had no children and the parents alone inherit from him, then for his mother is one third. And if he had brothers, for his uh, mother is a sixth. After any bequest he may have made or debt, your parents or your children, you know not which of them are nearest to you in benefit. An obligation by Allah. See, in the translation it says these shares are an obligation by Allah. Okay, but since you don't want me to read out to the parts in square brackets, I, it kind of doesn't scan as well. But I'll continue leaving out the parts in square brackets as per your request. An obligation by Allah. Indeed, Allah is ever knowing and wise. And now uh, verse 12. And for you is half of what your wives leave if they have no child. But if they have a child, for you is one fourth of what they leave. After any bequest they may have made, oh sorry, I read it by accident. After any bequest they made or debt. And for them is one fourth if you leave no child. But if you leave a child, then for them is an eighth of what you leave after any bequest you made or debt. And if a man or woman leaves neither ascendants nor descendants, but has a brother or a sister, then for each one of them is a sixth. But if they are two are more than two, they should a third after any bequest which was made or debt as long as there is no detriment an ordinance from Allah and Allah is knowing and forbearing okay so that those are the two verses in full where these verses reveal a clear error is when you consider these instructions being applied to a man who is married has two living parents and two or more daughters and no son then the verses instruct that he but if there are daughters two or more for them is two thirds of one's estate. So two thirds of his estate, uh, what he left, has been allocated. Are you going to do a rain man maths type thing now? Yeah. I mean, it's necessary. Okay. If it's a mathematical Let me ask you a question. I do need to tell you. Why would Muhammad say that? Why would Muhammad say that? Yeah. To he didn't leave any inheritance. To, to construct his society. No, but he didn't leave any inheritance. Uh, I've already said, like, kind of, even if there isn't any understandable motive, no, why would he put that in If that? I can show you that it's an error, then we would have to conclude it's not from God. No, we, what, we'll do, what we would do. What so let, let's not go back to the first 20 minutes. Let's, I'm going to go for your Rain Man maths. Well, it's, it's not hard. It's just simple mathematics. It's, it's, it's Muhammad's basically exactly. telling the, the audience to do something. What did Muhammad, say? What did Muhammad Ijab say? He said that the scholars then later decided that they should fix the Quran's instructions and make each person have a slightly lower share. Because at the moment, when these shares are applied to a man who has a, um, a wife, two parents, and two or more daughters, they add up to more than the total amount of the estate. They, it instructs him to give away nine-eighths of the estate. And I'll show that to you right now, okay? So remember... So this is your proof? We're talking about a man... Yes, a proof? We're okay. talking about a man who has two parents, a wife, as it, and as if it's not more daughters. Before. And the verses say, if there are daughters, two or more, for them it's two-thirds of one's estate. So that's two-thirds of the estate gone, okay? Then... For one's parents, if he left children, to each one of them is a sixth.
sixth of his estate, okay? So that means a sixth of the estate goes to the father, a sixth of the estate goes to the mother. Now that's two thirds of the estate, plus a sixth of the estate, plus a sixth of the estate. That equals, you know, a third, no, so two thirds plus a sixth plus a sixth equals one. We've now given away 100%, all of the estate has now been given away. Right. And yet the Quran goes on to say, and for your wife, if you leave a child, for them is an eighth of what you leave. Okay, so it's trying to tell him to give away an eighth after giving away already all of the estate. Right. So you can't do that, it's impossible. You've given away 100% right. of the estate, and yet it's still saying to give away an extra eighth, like nine eighths. That is equally as, as impossible as if I said to you, oh, give half this pizza to your daughter and half this pizza to your son and half the pizza to your wife. Like if I said that to anyone here, you'd tell me, oh, hold on, you've made a mistake. These instructions are impossible. And yet these are the instructions in the Quran, supposedly from God. But a God wouldn't make a, a simple mathematical error like this, okay? And so what Sunny, and so this error was actually discovered in Islamic history after Muhammad had died. That was the first time this error came up. It was came up. It was discovered by Ali bin Talib during the reign of Umar, and that's from uh, Muslim sources, by the way. And um, he, he noticed this, and they were like, you know, guys, like, what what do we do? And what they decided. Sorry, 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 sorry show me that. Decided, show me that. Show me that. Okay, it's from Islam Web. I don't. Have, I need to do a bit of googling for that. Well, Google is your friend. We're googling. You Google. We don't mind. <laughs> But this, See, I, I, I'm not misrepresenting the sunny orthodox position on this, all right, I promise all right. you. No, no, but for the benefit of the camera, because this is long-winded, man, and like I said, I ain't doing the Rain Man thing. I all mean, right? there's, a, there's a more obvious one. Which but anyway, is anyway, Jim anyway, Keith, anyway. anyway. Um, let's, let's clarify this. If you go on to Answering Christianity, Rebuttal to Ali Sina, Inheritance Who Taught Allah Maths, by Sami Zatari. If you go on there, You'll see the claim that James made. See, James gets his information from anti-Islamic sites, which he bear witness to. Is no, that not right? I, 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 I checked check with the tafsir as well. Do you take your information from Wiki Islam? Yes, but also the Quran and tafsir. Do you believe Wiki Islam is an unbiased source? Um, it's not an unbiased source. It is biased. So it's against however, Islam. However, All right. I check their claims against the actual facts. All right. Do you do you believe that Wiki Islam will ever twist uh, hadith um, to, to suit themselves? Mm, not not really. All right. At, at mo the, the, the All biggest. Right. The biggest error, I'm telling you straight now, Wiki Islam, every single thing they have to say has been refuted. Not true, because they just quote what, everything. The, what the hadiths say. Everything. They, 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 didn't, they don't translate Can hadiths. I say it again to you? They, they just repeat the hadiths from James, Sunnah James, I'm going to say a word to you again, yeah? Everything. Okay. I'll, I'll make it easy for you, right? Any, um, and this is for everyone, if any, no. someone like James thinks he's an expert after going on Wiki Islam, comes with one of these nonsense claims, just type the claim and then write answering Christianity and it's refuted. But it, it, I promise you it's not refuted. It's, it's refuted very, here. It's be, refuted be, here. No, it'll be an extremely flimsy answer. No, here's the problem you got, James. Okay. So You've think, got very, very, very bad judgment. No, no, no. I, you I've have. Got, I've got unbiased No, you, you have got any, very any bad judgment. Any person who isn't indoctrinated no. from this from a young age no. would have come to the no. same conclusion Unfortunate, no. It's because you guys have been indoctrinated. No. And you don't want to go against your James, parents. James, you don't want to. <laughs> no. You don't want to leave your community. My parents. My parents are not Muslim. Yeah, yeah, you're an exception, though. Most people. People here were born into Islam, and they don't. Most want people to, here. They don't want to let down their that's parents. Of boys. That's, that's the, sort that's of thing. That's the Western Euro, Eurocentric arrogant twat I want to see. Because okay. that's what you're being. You're saying I. No, that, that's I, a fair statement. No, you're, you're saying that I'm a, as a Western white guy who's high perspective. I can tell you why you've come to the conclusions you've come to because you're afraid of your mum and dad. That that is it. That's what you're saying. But no, it's, yeah, it's, but it's, part, it's part of that. And that's one. Cool. That's one no, of no, the no, reasons. No, no. Let me let's respond to this. You know, it's, it's a common reason. No, no, it's okay. not a common reason. Yes, it is. You're, you're but how, how about we? How about we go to the? I mean, you I'm wanted the go, source. I'm I've got the go, source I'm now. Talk about this in a okay. But what you're doing is you're applying your own personal hyper skepticism, and you're assuming. No, and no, you're, no, no, can I finish my sentence? It would be sure, reasonable okay, to allow okay, that. Sure, sure. Otherwise, you're acting like an indoctrinated person because you've been talking for ages. It's, it's reasonable. It's, it's quite unreasonable to assume that other people only believe what they believe because they're afraid of their parents. Which is essentially what you said. No, there's a there's That's, a spectrum. Yeah, of parents. Well, let you, me clarify. You didn't, you didn't mention the spectrum. Okay, okay. Hang on a second, I'm talking, give me a second. You said that, that everything is possible. No. And that, and that was one of your... Yes, you did. Even if you can't... But, you, you, well, let me, let me clarify no, that. No, 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 not, not, everything, not everything is possible. 
school, but within I within history, kind I didn't of interrupt you at all. I'm actually trying to make the point. To you. You've well, been talking for ages, trying to say what you think. Uh, this is okay. the basis. Okay, this but is... I, I, need, I need I need some time to clarify your misrepresentation. So, so that's fine. You can do that. Okay. Now, what you now you've given a, a scenario that you feel shows that this inheritance cannot be given out according to the rules that are given. Mm -hmm. You've spoken to other people about this who are much more knowledgeable than I am about this. Exactly. Adnan and Mohammed Ijab. And they've given you this, the standard way. So why are you still asking the question? Well, I haven't finished yet. Give me a second. I'm going to give you another scenario to add to that. If, a, if that same person who you gave this scenario to also wanted to give a third of their wealth away, which they're allowed to do, they're allowed to give that to charity. Would the rest of his estate that remains, the two thirds, still be referred to as his estate? Depends. But, uh, but, let, let, but like well, you're, 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 not, you're not answering the problem I, though. I'm trying to because but no, no, because if, if he doesn't, you know, give away any sort of bequest to charity, then, no, no, then, no. then, then we are, we are, we still have the same problem. Adding, so we need we need to resolve the original no, no, no. problem. You're, you're we can't avoiding, resolve we can't resolve the original you're, problem you're by adding it. new things no, 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 to I'm, it because. Topic. Sorry. You're, I'm making a very specific point that you're not getting. If the person wanted to give away a third of what they had before their estate is then distributed. Would the shares being referred to for that wealth still refer to his wealth in the same way? Would it still be a third of the six and an eight that's as referred to? Well, it, it, it would be, it would probably, I'd have to look into it, but it would probably be covered under the, apart after any bequest you may have made or debt, right? So that's what you're referring to. So, so and so, what does that you, you still have the same problem if you give so away what does, that. What does that tell you? What does that tell you about when the, when the records are made to shares and portions? What's it telling you about? I, I don't see any way that it helps resolve the problem. Okay, I'm not asking that question. Okay. I'm going to tell you how it resolves the problem to the okay. best of my ability. I'm asking you that if a person gives away a third of their wealth and then their wealth is distributed as you say there, yeah. what happens to that third and that? So if they had 100% of their wealth and they didn't bequeath, bequeath the third away, that third or that eighth or that sixth would refer to that full amount, right? Sorry? That third or that eighth or that sixth would refer to that full amount. Yes. If they, ref if they gave away a third of their wealth to start with, which they're allowed to do, yes. That third and that eighth and that sixth would refer to what? It would refer to what remains. What remains. Okay. So, so what you... What but but, but the other verses don't work that way. No, no, no. That's not the sunny understanding. I'm say, you're, you're misrepresenting the you, you, orthodox sunny misunderstanding. You can tell me what that is, because you seem to know more about the sunny position than me as a Muslim does. That's fair enough. But what I want you to do is deal with the point that I'm making here, right? So, the, the, just your, your, the claim that you're making is... The, the, the shares are a set amount of the total. That's what the claim you're making, isn't it? Yeah. Because you're saying this is an absolute. Oh, I get your point. And not a relative amount. That's the difference. Now, if someone gives away a third, and then the Quran says, and then the Quran is still saying to them, give a third of what you have to John and so it's not referring to the total amount to start with. So the, the, the third that was say for a particular relative now becomes a smaller portion of that original larger amount. And then the okay. fractions go again into that. So when you have a scenario, okay. and you presented a scenario when the fractions amount to more than the total what happens, when you have the standard position, yeah. what you do is you take the, the, each, each person getting the amount that they should have. From what's and left. You, and you reduce it to the wealth that's available. That's a reasonable position. That's not a... Your assumption, assumption is this is somehow a mathematical error. Mm. It's not. It's a practical application of the verses that we have. Yeah, I get that. So for 1,400 years, Muslims have been applying this without any problems. Okay. Now you have the problem, and I say it's your problem. No, no, it's, 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 it's not my problem. I think, it'll, I think it'll help to bring... Because 20, 20 minutes ago, or a few minutes ago, you asked me to provide evidence for the claim that this error was first. Yeah, 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 that's what I, I want to hear that. I yeah, want to hear so that. So I'm going to read out kind of uh, an article on it. Can I read it? From Okay, can sure. I can I see it? Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah sure. It's from uh, uh, is Islam Islamweb.net. Right. Okay. And it's on the shares of all in inher in inheritance. That's exactly like, saying the same. No, no, it isn't because. Okay, one second. There is no head. Your, okay, okay. Your, um, well, your, your response is can I, can I, closer to the Shia view, and the Shia view isn't actually supported well by the text, and I can't explain James, why. James, the, the the beginning of the answer is there is no hadith reported from the Prophet on yes. this. Yes. Yeah, that's what I claimed. Yes. All right. So, what's your point? I claim that this this error was first discovered after Muhammad had died, and it says that. In so, the next so what you're saying is, while Muhammad was alive, yes. everyone was doing this inheritance no problem. No. Yes. No. no. This 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 event had not come up because families where there were only daughters were rare in society at that time because people used to kind of kill. No. Uh, their daughters until they had a son. No. Most 
families at that no, time. No, 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 no. Pre-Islam, a... pre-Islam. Well, Islam ended that. Pre yeah, yeah, but how many, but how many new families will have... Uh, had daughters. Had, yeah, yeah. How, well, many, well, how many new families will have had kind of... Uh, in 23 years. In 23 years. More, more and, and, the then, and then you'd need kind of the, the father... How many, wives, how many wives did they have? <laughs> Some of them had one or two. But, no, it's, but it says very clearly from a Muslim source. I'm, I'm gonna, no, no, no. I'm, I'm no. Well, I'm asking you a okay. simple question. In the 23 years of the Prophet Muhammad's this life... Will, uh, this will answer your question. No, Mom. Yes, it will. There is no hadith reported from the Prophet that indicates that he applied all, which means that the shares of inheritors exceed the whole of the inheritance regarding the issues of inheritance. No, right, who's so, saying... so the shares of the uh, inheritance exceeding the whole inheritance yeah, yeah. is exactly the problem that I'm bringing. Right. Okay? So there are no hadith that records that this occurred right. or he mentioned it happen. at any point. That that right, go on. True, true, but let's continue. Okay. Absence however, of evidence and not evidence of absence. However, he urged us to act according to the sunnah of the right guided caliphs and stated that the sunnah and the consensus of scholars are sources of legislation saying you must follow my sunnah and that of the rightly guided caliphs abide by it and hold on to and hold on tight to it as if with your molar teeth That's a Abu Dawood Tawafi to me so what do you think this is saying team. and sorry let me continue a bit more he said um, Allah will not cause my ummah or the uh, yeah Allah will not cause my ummah to agree on misguidance and the hand of Allah is with the uh, Jama uh, the group which follows the Quran and authentic Sunnah, Relax. and whoever deviates from that will be in hell. And, and it gives another verse saying the same thing, or another Kafadif saying the same thing. But let's. Uh, what do you think? Is, this is, this what do you think is telling you? What do you, think? What do you think that's telling you? This is important history. No, but James, I can hear it. But what do you think it's saying to you? It's, it's going to tell me that this uh, this problem was not known about, or dealt with, or arrived, no. or no. fully no. dealt with. No. Yes. Yes. This is. This is Shall I tell you what it tells me? Good evidence. Shall I tell you what it tells All me? All was applied by the rightly guided. Caliph Umar and the companions during his time uh, ag agreed with that. And sorry, sorry, all was applied by the rightly guided Caliph Umar, and the companions during his time agreed with that. However, Ibn Abbas held another opinion after the death of Umar, an opinion that has become nearly obsolete. Uh, this is kind of similar to what you were proposing. Um, it, uh, he's the one who's saying that it should be relative, of, like each person gets sort of consecutive, like sequentially give away what remains. For each person. Okay. I never said that. It sounded like you're saying that. So I'm, 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 my, 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 my apologies. Okay. So, um. Ibn Qudama said in Al Mughni, the opinion of applying all has been adopted by all Muslim scholars except Ibn Abbas and a small group that held another opinion. We do not know at the present time anyone who adopts the opinion of Ibn Abbas. We do not know of any disagreement among the jurists of the Islamic states regarding applying all. All perfect praise to be to Allah. And who's saying that? Uh, that's, that's from Ibn Qudama. Who's he? I actually don't know. Oh, right. But, but uh, you don't know. Know. he's a scholar, I guess. Scholar of what? Well, if, you're, if, you're, if you disagree with what he's saying, then bring evidence. But like, I don't think that's important. No, 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 no. For me, all that's saying, from my perspective, is we believe Muhammad Sallallahu is the walking Quran. This is my, I might be wrong about this understanding. And that when the Quran says something, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi would elaborate on certain things like Salah and uh, fasting and things like that. Now, this particular issue may not have come up. Yeah. Because if it had come up, he would have been asked. Yeah, there would have been a problem. Right, 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 right. So, just because the Prophet Muhammad has never encountered this situation, it doesn't mean there's a problem with it. It just means the Khalifs solved the problem. So the, so the Khalifs had to, had to fix the Quran? No. no. Yes. Well, what are they yes. doing? They're not fixing the Quran. <laughs> so what did, so what, if, what, one second, what, if they fixed the Quran, why didn't they change it? That's the question. No, they, they, so they, they, didn't, they, didn't, they didn't change the word. Why not? But they applied, they, they did something that's why different not? from what because the Because didn't you say, they didn't did, you, they're doing something James, different from James, what the word James, say. didn't you say Ummah did this? Yeah. And then after Ummah came Uthman. Mm -hmm. And you believe Uthman put the Quran together? Maybe. Do you believe that Wiki Islam believes that? I, I don't believe every single thing written on the Wiki All right. Islam. So. so why didn't they change the Quran to correct it? Because they, they would, they, that would that would be admitting that the Quran is a work of man. They want to maintain. Alhamdulillah. They, they want to so maintain what? this delusion. They want to maintain this delusion to have their power structure. Or, or a big conspiracy. Yeah, 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 big conspiracy. Well, yeah, yeah, it's an incentive. <laughs> what you were asking about earlier, it's an incentive. But anyway, let, 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 let me get to the juicy part. The cause of all first presented itself during the time of the rightly guided caliph Umar ibn Khattab. It was stated in Al. 
Mosu al Fikia. The first case of all was for a woman who died and left behind a husband and two sisters. This occurred during the beginning of the Caliphate of Umar. He consulted the companions and said, By Allah, I do not know which of you comes first and which comes next. If I start with the husband and give him his right in full, the two sisters will not take their right in full. And if I start with the two sisters and give them their right in full, the husband will not take his right in full. According to the most recognized accounts, Al Abbas ibn Abdul Mutalib suggested he could apply all. Other accounts have it that it was Ali ibn Talib or Zaid ibn Thabit. It was narrated that Al Abbas said, O leader of the believers, tell me, if a man passed away and left six dirhams and he owed three dirhams to one man and four to another, what would you do? Would you not make the wealth into seven parts? He said, yes. Upon this, Al Abbas said, it is the same thing, thus Umar applied the principle of all. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, so what's the problem? The problem is that basically that, that relegates Allah to the position of a debtor who cannot pay his debts and is giving out more than he should. Okay? Because 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 if you if you promise more what what he's saying is that like if a person die if, if a person dies and he owes debts and there isn't enough to go around, then you divide it into divide it into shares and give each person like reduce each person's share proportionately. But like the, 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 the person who dies with more debts than he can pay has done something wrong. Yes. This means that Maha Quran, the Quran or Muhammad, the actual author of the Quran, did something wrong because he what? gave away more shares than could be accounted for without realizing it. And if this is not the case, like why would a hyper, why would the hyper intelligent creator of the universe write a legal system in his perfect book, which is the perfect word of mankind, and not mention, by the way, this doesn't work in several circumstances. Uh, in that case, treat it like um, a debt and reduce each share proportionately. Why did he not do that? It's because the most reasonable explanation is because kind of Muhammad didn't consider this. He wasn't that strong. So is your so sorry, so so I understand this because yes. it's, it's, it's gobbledygook, mate. But anyway, are you saying that if a man's inheritance, uh, sorry, a man's inheritance can put him in debt? Is that what you saying? Are you saying that a man's inheritance can put him in debt because there's not enough shares no, to go around? No, no, that, that's not what I said. What are you saying? I don't get it. What, what I said was... Don't repeat it. it. Well, okay. how, how, do you, how, do you, how do you want me to explain it? Well, not like you just myself. did, just a little bit more, uh, just uh, nuance. I, I don't, I don't just know. summarize. I, I, okay, summarize. Um, I'm saying that they're using the reasoning of a person who has died with too much debt than their existing uh, assets okay. can pay. Right, so if the man's got debt, what's your point? Okay, so they're, say, so they're saying that... Who's, whose problem is the debt? The debt is the problem of the person who died right. of not uh, have, having too much, to, to pay, uh, or having too many uh, out liabilities to so pay for with his assets. Are you talking about debt or inheritance? Because they're two different are you saying the inheritance? Yeah, I, I know, I know. So I are you, no, 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 you, you brought, you brought up debt, mate. No, no, the, I, no, the, the person you brought up no, debt No, 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 no. So are you saying, the, the so what you're saying uh, is this. And, so what uh, you're saying is, a man who has debt, before he can pay that debt, his inheritance has to get shared out. Is that what you're saying? No, no. You're not saying that? No. Right. So what are you saying? I'm saying that try, trying to explain away this problem of inheritance by saying, oh, just do the same thing as a man who dies with too much debt to pay so off. So what's the problem? Is admitting that kind of Allah or rather Muhammad. But what's the problem? I, I'm not getting the problem. By too much uh, shares than can actually be paid, uh, by designating more than can actually be pay, paid off. In, 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 when there's a situation where there's debt beyond the estate of the person who's died, yes. the instruction is that the family have to clear his debt because we're told that the debtor will not enter paradise. That's what I said. Yeah. So, so you're talking about apples and oranges. No, so well, no, no, I don't no, know no, why you're no, including no, debt. No, no, the, 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 reason, the reason why I'm talking, you're talking about if he's got no, debt. The, the reason why I'm talking about debt is because the scholars, when they were trying to construct this uh, this fix, this, this patch. No, no, James, you've been explained this by Adnan. Exactly. Many times. Exactly. No, he what scholars? What scholars? Uh, what scholars? Uh, please, no, 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 please no, no, go no, no, away. Please go away. Why are you worried, James? Uh, no, no. Why are you worried, James? Yeah, because, because all, that you're, all that you're going to do is ask how James, many tafsir have you read? No, that's what you're going to do. Don't worry, James. I'm going to embarrass you again. I'm going to embarrass you again. Don't get worried. These guys, these guys are actually using their intelligence. James has been exposed as a hyperskeptic. He has many times. Completely. No, James, as you're, I said, you're, you're just going to bring down James, the tone of the debate and, and talk about nonsense. Adnan, oh, why are you worried? Okay. Adnan, are we
mean, you're jumping into insults already, but don't worry, James, I won't lower myself to your level. My point is, James, you've been explained this many times here. I keep asking. What you're doing is you're not accepting it. Now, the fact of the, fact of the matter is, a minute ago, you quoted someone and you don't even know who you quoted. When Hamza asked you, who Who's is that? this person? You said, I don't know. Uh, I don't know about that. No, but what I'm I just saying, want to concentrate on the problem. How do you know no, that no, guy's not okay, wrong? Okay, let me, let me address no, this no, no, first James, of all. Let me finish. address this first James, of all. I'm, Let's go point by point. Uh, all I'm doing is presenting the orthodox sunny consensus. That's what I'm doing. If you have a problem with the orthodox sunny consensus, then go become a Shia or a Quranist or something. Because I'm representing the orthodox sunny consensus. So you're just like muddying the water here. You're just doing like you're getting scared noise and I haven't even said anything yet. Because My you aren't going to bring any evidence James, or logic. Like you're sure. no, okay, prove me wrong, please. Bring, James, bring some just logic. What would establish, right? Bring some logic that actually James, relates that to uh, all and inherit. Mohammed S. 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 had no motive to lie. Right? How many, how many right? He had no motive to lie. And he had no capacity to carry out the lie. First of all, but because of this, please don't do that. Please don't. Don't put words in my mouth. I hope you prove me wrong. So my point is, James, yeah? You said the scholars had to work this out. What scholars? I'll read this out again then. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, James. Don't do please, that. Don't, don't do that. that. You want, you want to know, you want you want to know the scholars? You don't even know who that was, James. So you just You want to know the scholars? James. This is from Islam Web and it relates no, it relates James, the not, sound possession of the Sunni orthodox school. Sunni, Sunni, Sunni. I'm going to call it Sunni. Oh, but I don't care. Sunni. You, you, you can cry about it if you want. I don't care. You'll just be kind of annoying. No, you aren't talking about the actual logic. All you're doing, all you're trying to do is cast Nav, nav, nav. On my credibility. One second. One second. Uh, nav, uh, nav, nav, nav. Just, just use logic. One thing, please. one thing. Use logic, said, please. This, this all I'm, okay, I'll ask you, Hamza, because he seems to be being you know, trembling at my question. <laughs> Listen, the fact of the matter is, all I'm asking is, he said these scholars are exactly. working out. I'm just asking what scholars. What he's going to quote now is people who have looked at the tafsir. Yeah. The people done the tafsir. That's not the scholars who came up with Mimbarina, as you state, yeah? yeah? Who came up with it? Was it just scholars or was it Sahaba? Yeah. And yeah, who, yeah, yeah, of course, they'd be Sahaba as well. Who the I, I never denied that they were Sahaba. Down, is this your big point? You said scholars. You just wasted no, no. Your time. Scholars. Is this your big point? I'll just clarify. Uh, scholars right, weren't anyway. there to witness Prophet Muhammad yeah. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yeah. However, no, that's, that's, the Sahaba that's were there to that's witness really, that's, that's Muhammad really Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that's the main point. I never said that. Because they could have seen James afraid of that. James, James, to this point, James, James, James. I never said that they were Sahaba. So your point is invalid. That doesn't mean so that they're not the Sahaba. Names. Mention the names. I just did. But mention then, the names. And you told me, oh, please don't torture us. Please don't repeat no, no, yourself. No, no, no. You're reading. Now you want me to repeat myself again. You're reading a tough scene. That's what you don't even know. Do you want me to repeat myself? One second, one second. At this point, I'm going to end it. James, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> are you, Goodbye, are, James. Are you, do you really want to run away before we've got to run. the bottom of the issue? Run from. We've got to the bottom of the issue. He hasn't got a point. You haven't. No, no, no. I know. He doesn't even know who he's stating. All right. Okay. That was James. What the scholars have done, they fixed the Quran and tried to come up with an alternate explanation. Come over here. Oh, well done. <laughs> Out with the frying pan. All right. Okay, that was a long discussion. It started with Paul. It moved on to the Fonz, and we were talking about why we believe what we believe. Um, they tried to challenge the Quran, and um, what is Christianity true? Is the Quran true? Then he tried to say, prove. Uh, he's bringing historians to say, oh, Jesus died, therefore the Quran's wrong, because historians apparently are the authority. But then he accepted they weren't the authority. Now here's the thing, and I explained it to him, and I don't know if he got it. If the people of the time, the Quran is saying what? The people thought Jesus died. So if the people think Jesus died, what are they going to be saying? Jesus died. What are the historians going to be reporting? Jesus died. They were saying Jesus died. So even if you bring me 20 historians saying the people in the time of Jesus believed he died, I would say, well, that's what the Quran says. They believed he died. So this is a nonsense. But then what I explained, I said, look, my belief is solid. All right. I believe the Quran is the word of Allah. I believe Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. If what you've got doesn't reconcile with that, I'll throw it away. You want me to listen to what you've got to say? Challenge what I got. I don't need to listen to your historians. You prove to me the Quran is not from God because God is my authority. Historian, subjective, history, Victor writes the history is not my standard. God is my standard. So we moved on from that. Then James comes along. 
and he's trying to say, oh, the Quran is um, in error because of this inheritance thing. And he was dying to show us. But what I said is very simple. I believe Muhammad, peace and blessed be upon him, is the messenger of God. I believe that. Now, if you don't believe that, then you claim he lied about that. So we asked James, what was Muhammad Salasal's motive to lie? What was he looking to gain? And you can claim money, power, wealth. Okay, we make your claims. But then we need to ask, when we look at the life of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, did he live a powerful life? Did he live in palaces? Did he walk around in gold robes? No, he slept on the floor. His rolls were bare. He died penniless. SubhanAllah Adim. His wives would complain. Oh, well, why do we live like this? You're the... SubhanAllah Adim. So if we're trying to say this man is a liar, then he needs to have motive, and if his motive is to be a charlatan and to gain power and wealth, and he became king of Arabia, then why did he not employ that? Why did he not demonstrate that? Why, when people stood up when he came in the room, he said, no, don't stand when I enter the room like the Persians do. He was humble. So when we look at this, you're trying to give me reasons he lied, you can't give me one reason why he lied. And then I asked James, how did he lie? How did he come up with this Qur'an? How did this illiterate man in the desert 1400 years ago reveal this book for 23 years? How could he follow through with the lie? You've got two options. Your claim is what? That Muhammad Sallallahu somehow memorized the texts of the Christians, not just the Bible, but the Apocrypha, and the text of the Jews, and not just the text of the Jews, but the uh, oral tradition of the Jews. And then what he did, in his mind, rehashed it all, changed it all, and then over 23 years revealed it. And he was a literate. That tells you he doesn't have the capacity to do that. Impossible. And then the next one is he had a teacher, a secret guy who he was meeting, who was telling him these things. We have no evidence of this. For 23 years he revealed his message. We have no evidence going to meet this person, going to meet that person. His enemies never made this claim about him. They never said he's getting it from here and he's getting it from there. This is a new claim. So what we demonstrated with James was one, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam didn't have the motive to lie, nor the capacity to. And then he went to this rain man in mathematics, inheritance, whatever, which I will look at and inshallah I will put a link refuting this nonsense. Because he said it doesn't matter that he had no motive to lie and it doesn't matter he didn't have the capacity to follow through with the lie. But this is wrong in the Quran, so that means it wasn't from God. SubhanAllah. Anyhow, we'll put the link up, inshallah, and you decide for yourselves. Assalamu alaikum.